My name is Charlie Chambers. I'm uh, director of the CAP Lab at Penn State Hershey and Sky, soon to be vice president. And I'm here this morning with Jeff Cavendish. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning. Uh, Jeff Cavendish, cardiologist, uh, practicing interventional cardiology in San Diego, California. And we're here this morning to talk to you about the recently released uh, 2012 ACC SCAI Cath Lab Standards document. It's an update of the previous 2001 uh, publication, both offered by Tom Bayshore. And as you are very much aware, we've had significant changes in the catheterization lab over the last 12 years. And myself, Jeff, and probably another 10 co-authors in, uh, in this publication attempted to identify that transition in the cath lab from more a diagnostic facility to now a, a, a very aggressive interventional facility. Yeah, I think the document uh, was a little bit long overdue uh, and we talked about that a little bit in terms of what to update and what's changed over the years uh, and certainly quite a bit has changed and some things haven't uh, and the, the good things we've been doing in the cath lab have been reiterated in that document but a lot of the new things in the cath lab uh, have been updated dramatically in this document, and it was a great effort uh, amongst all the, uh, the uh, contributors on the writing committee, and Dr. Bayshore did a fabulous job uh, leading us and sometimes kind of hurting cats and uh, keeping us uh, on track over, over the uh, course of many months working on this document. So uh, it's a great document, uh, it's something I think we all should have as a reference uh, to download the PDF to our uh, iPhones or download it to our laptops and have it as a resource to go to. Uh, it's, almost, it's almost a cath uh, textbook, if you will. It's o over 200 pages long, so it's, uh, it's a lot of information in there, but it's great information that I, I really think everybody who practices interventional cardiology should be looking at, reviewing. The executive summary is nice, but it, that's only 13 pages, so it's truly just a summary. But the document itself is a great resource that I think all of us who practice interventional cardiology should be familiar with. Specific areas that may be of interest, again, as Jeff mentioned, uh, all topics are, I would easily say almost all topics are covered in this document, but specific areas. The hybrid lab section is new this year. There's a review of case uh, operator volumes, which uh, was relatively less specific, knowing that an updated document will be coming out later this year, specifically addressing volumes. Uh, OR backup for both diagnostic labs and, and PCI facilities is discussed in the facility, as well as an overview of important issues like uh, contrast, radiation, pre-procedure evaluation. All these things that impact you on an everyday basis are reviewed with a group of experts with an extensive reference list, as Jeff mentioned, more as a reference, but also as a, a good guide to everyday practice. Absolutely, Charlie. And, and the quality assurance and quality improvement initiatives uh, are mentioned uh, quite substantially in the document as far as uh, cath labs being part of NCDR or some other database, uh, having monthly regular uh, cath conferences, morbidity and mortality type conferences. Is improving quality in the cath lab is a key uh, in this document as well as an initiative that SCI has been uh, promoting over the past year. Very good, Jeff. And in and, and, and finishing this discussion, we just want to add that there will be a, uh, a toolkit webinar on the 31st of, this, of May uh, of this year, of course. Um, Tom Bayshore, myself, um, Bonnie Weiner will be reviewing predominantly some of the quality issues, as Jeff just talked about in the document. Tom and Dr. Bayshore will give an overview of the um, of the document, I'll talk about the quality issues, and, and Bonnie, will, Dr. Weiner, will talk about how this applies to the ACE accreditation process. So on behalf of Jeff and I, we'd like to thank you and uh, contact any of us questions, and we hope you find, hope you find the document useful.